What's going on everybody? Today on the channel we're going to be installing the Burley Pro Bumper Bro on our Old Town Autopilot 136. This is a good upgrade for any of you kayak fishermen or kayak owners because it adds a little bit of protection to the front of the kayak. Uh, anytime you come into contact with something on the keel, usually it's at the boat ramp and you're pulling it up to uh, load or unload. Or if you come into contact with any brush uh, out there while you're on the lake, this bumper bro is going to help protect your investment in your kayak from any sort of damage. It doesn't usually do a whole lot of damage initially, but over time it can really wear on your kayak. So let's go over this install and hopefully it helps you. Before we get into the install, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. We're going to be doing a lot of upgrades to this kayak and I'd love to share the journey with you. So please do that and let's get into it. Thanks. So we're going to start by test fitting. We're going to set the bumper bro out on the keel of the kayak to figure out how we want it to sit and where we want it to sit. At that point, we'll use a pencil to trace out the outline of the bumper bro where it sits on the kayak. Very, very faintly, you can see the line where we traced out for our Burley Pro. What we're going to do next is we're going to take a Brillo pad or light sandpaper, a couple thousand grit, and we're going to sand out the area above it where we are going to stick our Burley Pro Bumper Pro. All right, guys, so we just finished using our Brillo pad. If you're not familiar with a Brillo pad, this guy right here, is a Brillo pad. I picked mine up at Lowe's. You can also find them at automotive retailers. Um, and we use that to scuff up our outlined area where we're going to place the Burley Pro. The purpose of doing this is it gets rid of all the slick sealant on the plastic that comes from the factory and it also helps to give the adhesive we're going to use something to adhere to. So now that we've got this all scuffed up, the next step is going to be using isopropyl alcohol to clean the area up, remove any of the shavings from um, scuffing it up and remove any contaminants, oils or anything like that that may mess with our adhesive. Uh, so we'll get that done and we'll be right back with you. All right guys, so this is where we're at where our, with our Burley Pro Bumper Bro setup. Um, I apologize, I got a little carried away in the process of things and kept going so uh, basically what we did is when we came back after letting the alcohol dry we put down a thick layer of adhesive I use a uh, Gorilla Glue construction grade adhesive it dries clear it's waterproof um, so set that down there and then set the bumper bro on top of the adhesive and got it to fit roughly where we wanted it to and use the heat gun to get the get it to flex a little bit um, so you see we got it sitting right here you can see some of the adhesive seeping out um, I used my finger as best I could to kind of round off the edges but it didn't come out exactly the way I want it um, but it takes about 24 hours for the adhesive to completely secure so we got it in the position where we wanted it and then we used this clear packing tape to kind of hold it in place so the most important part is we are pretty flush back here and then it looks like we are going to be flush here um, and what i plan to do if it doesn't come out exactly the way i want it to is I will go back to the store, get a little bit of silicone, and patch up the sides. But let's give this thing 24 hours, and we will follow up with you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So we are back. Uh, this is day two of our Burley Pro Bumper Bro install. And it looks like everything has cured up and settled down really, really well. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this tape. And I've got a waterproof sealant that I'm going to apply to the edges. Not necessarily because I have to, um, but because I'm a perfectionist OCD type person. And I want a clean edge from the bumper protector down to the kayak. So I'll uh, start working on that and come back and show you the results. All right, and that's all we're doing with it. Um, so we are just gonna let this silicone cure I used it to kind of fill some of the corner uh, from the boat to the Burley Pro Bumper Bro. 
and I think it looks pretty good. There's a couple spaces that are not as good looking as I'd like, but for the most part, and mainly for a component that's gonna be on the bottom of the boat, this thing is, is solid. Um, I'll probably go and come back in and clean up the edges of the bumper protector itself, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, basically what I did is I put the silicone in the corners between the bumper bro and the kayak and then just used my finger to smooth out the edge. And then took uh, rubbing alcohol and just cleared off, mm, that's about a half to a uh, half inch to a quarter inch um, just below the bumper bro. So it looks like it's gonna hold up. The construction with the Gorilla Glue adhesive is very, very solid. And I am looking forward to putting this thing through its paces. All right guys, so that is the install on the Burley Pro Bumper Bro. This thing looks really, really rugged and I can't wait to get on the water with it. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I'd like to thank you guys so, so much for the support, um, for sticking around and helping as I build my channel. And if you would, please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button so you guys get notified. This is just the first of many uh, upgrades I plan to do on this thing and I am grateful for the support and I look forward to more of it in the future. Thanks, you guys have a great day.